Well, as the growing season begins to wane and our summer containers right now are looking gorgeous and full, we've watered them and fed them all through the growing season, but we're not very far from that first frost. In the winter time, you can still have great looking containers, beautiful containers. Rita Randolph, my gardening buddy, and uh, Rita's gonna tell us all about the fantastic containers that she does and what you can do to add some pizzazz to your garden for that season when it sometimes seems like we'll never get back to growing things again. Or you, you're afraid that there's not gonna be anything pretty and alive through the winter, That's but right. there really is. In fact, a lot of these conifer containers that we choose to do look good year round. They sure. even look good like a little alpine village or something right. like that. So a lot of our clients, including myself, choose to go straight with evergreens and evergreen grasses. and Broadleaf evergreens, conifers. Persistently pretty things. foliage is what I like to call it because it looks good year round. Sure, it looks great for winter, but you'll be surprised. I've got some of my pots that are two right. and three years old. Sure. So what we do is uh, add a little gravel to the bottom. I'll right. just set him right there. Okay. And I just save my styrofoam and put it over the hole instead of dumping it in the dump, you know. I put it in the landfill. Right. And I use my basic potting soil, which is a handmade mix. And I always tell people when you're buying potting soil, you've heard that $2 yeah. plant in a $10 hole. That's it's right. true. Really use good potting media. I use about five different ingredients mm -hmm. from peat and core, bark, perlite, sand, right. and then you get this good mix. Sure. The only difference with conifers and evergreens is they like sharp drainage. Right, so, they were like a lightweight soil that's not gonna hold a lot of water. So you use your same good compost-based mix, but you just add more gravel to it. Right. And then we top dress with it too. Sure. So I'm gonna start with this conifer right here because he's got the biggest root ball and just beautiful. And I loosen up the roots a little bit and you see there's some gravel in the bottom right, of it right. because when I pot them up, I always add a little bit of gravel. And doesn't that just have beautiful drapey it's a gorgeous foliage? Shape. And this is euonymus, I just love euonymus. You know it's a shame that one of my favorite plants has a disease <laughs> named after it or an insect disease. But yep. anyway, I love euonymus because they are evergreen. And see how root bound they are. We just loosen up the roots a little bit, get them going out of the ball. And I never use a knife. I've seen people use a knife. I like to just tear it with my hands. Right. It seems a little more gentle. And the other rule is usually, you've heard the rule of three. Right. The thriller, the filler, and the spiller. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really go with that, but it does work. Right, exactly. <laughs> if you need a recipe, that is a good a recipe, recipe. that works. But the other thing that I'm going to say what my favorite, I'm a chartreuseaholic. I love variegated I plants. Variegated plants, Look gold how plants. bright these are. Mm -hmm. And even just plain green is nice if you add some chartreuse or right. variegation and nothing to like it. this to brighten the gloomy days of winter. This is Carex Evergold. It's not really a grass, it's a sedge. Mm -hmm. But it got its name Evergold because it's evergreen. Right. It looks good it year, looks this way year round. round. Year round. So we're gonna snuggle him right down there in front. And then I'm gonna work on my soil for just a minute. Once you've got all of your soil in around your root balls, Rita, what's your next step? Well, remember how I said we need to mix gravel in with the soil? Yep. I also top dress with it because top dressing keeps the evaporation, you know, from leaving from the surface. It helps right. hold in moisture. So we're basically mulching, but mulching, we're mulching with gravel. And I poke some of it down in there for mm. drainage so that I have a little bit of the gravel mixed in with my Soil. Top layer of soil. Yes. Sure. And then at this point, see the gravel actually outlines the plants and makes them look good. Right. Now if you don't want to do just evergreens, you want to add some color to it, you can always add some nice violas in there right. like that. And I'm not going to plant them, I'm just showing you how nice it would work. Now before we go, I want to mention one other container that really just caught my eye when I came in and it's just full of beautiful evergreens. It looks like maybe a sky pencil holly. It is, um, and an osmanthus, and a, a juniper, percumbens nana hanging out. That right. pot is about three years old. So when you do these conifer evergreen mixes, you get years of life out of it. Right, 
And the thing that I really love about that one is it's just such a great mix of colors. We've got dark green, we've got chartreuse, we've got kind of a cream and green variegated. So you can mix all of your plants up together. I think people worry too much a lot of times about, oh, is this combination going to be right? And You know what I do? I hold them up together. Sure. We call it the yuck factor. You know, you hold them up together, and if it looks good, it, Great. it's automatic. It's like right. picking out a scarf And for a everybody shirt. that you ask is going to have a different opinion because right. all of us like different things. Okay. So if you love it, then I say go for it. It works. Right. Rita, thanks so much for letting us Thank come you. and visit. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Now you can go shop. That's right. <laughs> For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.